What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 13.1 beta 4 to both registered developers and public beta testers about a week after the release of iOS 13.1 beta 3. So of course in this video we're going to be talking about any new features and changes found in the software before of course we see the final public release of iOS 13.0 tomorrow. And I'm going to talk more about if you should update or not at the end of this video. So anyway, as you can see, the size of this update was very small. It came in at just 131 megabytes here on my iPhone XS Max. And it was a small update across the board on my iPad, my iPhone 8 over here. It was below 200 megabytes on every device. So you're not going to really expect too much from this update since it is such a small size. Now, if we head over to our settings general about and take a look at the build number here, you can see the build number for this is 17A5844A. So we do have an A at the end of the build number there, which does indicate that we are getting very close to the GM and the final release of iOS 13.1. Of course, we do know that the final release of 13.1 comes out on September 30th, but of course we will be getting the GM before that. However, I don't think that beta four is going to be the GM. It may be beta five or possibly even beta six. And if we go down to the bottom there, you can see the modem firmware is 2.01.08. So if you have been having issues with cell connectivity LTE, you may want to check your modem firmware version. And if it's up updated here in this release, you may want to go ahead and update so you could possibly fix your issues with Signal. Now, as far as changes in iOS 13.1 beta 4, I've actually not found anything that's changed at all. I mean, last beta, we saw the Apple TV logo change and that was really it, the icon for Apple TV. That was pretty much the only thing that changed. And in beta 4, I have not been able to find anything that's changed so far. We still don't have any of the features like announced messages with Siri or anything like that. We don't have any new emojis, no new wallpapers, anything at all. So I'm guessing that beta 4 here is just going to be a stability update, just a performance based update and possibly even battery life. Of course, we don't know for sure yet, but I will be making a follow up video to let you guys know if performance or battery life have improved on beta four compared to beta three. Now we are finally starting to see applications get updated for iOS 13 support. You can see here, dark sky actually just got updated for iOS 13 and now includes a dark mode. So if you do use that for your weather, Shazam is another one. And you can see there they did update for iOS 13. Now you can Shazam and style with dark mode. And this is going to be just like what I showed in a previous video. Basically, when you go into dark mode in your device, it's actually going to change the appearance of that application based on your device's appearance if it's in dark mode or light mode, which is really cool. Most applications are going to be switching over to that in the near future. Now, as far as bugs here in iOS 13.1 beta 4, I did notice that the first time I opened up the app store, it was just white and I had to force quit out of the application and open it back up to actually show the app store, which I have had that issue in the past, and it seems that it is still not resolved here in beta four. And when it comes to CarPlay, I will be testing that out and mentioning that in my follow-up video. Hopefully CarPlay is finally fixed. It's been so buggy on iOS 13.0 and 13.1. And of course, I will keep an eye on the mail application as well, I report any type of issues, or if it's really stable, I'll report anything to do with the mail application in my follow-up video as well, because I know mail has been giving a lot of people a lot of issues. It was fine for me in beta three. I didn't have any issues with the mail application in beta three. And so far while using it here on beta four, I've also not had any issues at all, which is a good sign. Now, as far as overall performance here on 13.1 beta four, obviously it's still too early to tell for sure yet, but it seems very, very smooth. It seems just like beta three, which beta three was like I mentioned in my last video, just as stable as iOS 13.0, the GM build. So anytime a beta version is just as stable as a GM build, like a final build, that's always a very, very good sign. And that's why I've mentioned multiple times in my past few videos that when iOS 13 comes out tomorrow, you should not downgrade to it. If you're on iOS 13.1, First of all, you're not gonna get the update populating inside of your settings. If you go to settings, general software update, you are not going to see iOS 13.0 populate because you're on 13.1. You're on a higher firmware than that, so it's not gonna show up for you. However, you can get to iOS 13.0, the final release from 13.1 using the IPSW and your computer. However, you should not do that because you're really gonna just be losing features and the device is just gonna be just as stable. Your device is gonna be just as stable. You're not really gonna get any kind of performance improvements or anything like that, but down grading to iOS 13. The final release of iOS 13.1 is coming out later on this month on September 30th. So you can see here about two weeks from now. And if you don't update to the GM of iOS 13.1, you'll be getting that update in your software update settings. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we don't know when that GM is going to be, but if you don't have any issues with this fourth beta right here, I would just stay here until the 30th because beta five could very well end up being the GM build. And I know some people like to skip the GM build just so they can have the public release on their device 
patch just so they could see it populate and download the official release that everybody else has, even though the GM is still the exact same as that. Some people just don't like having the GM and not seeing the final populate inside of their settings software update section. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it here for iOS 13.1 beta 4. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same as beta 3 with some back end bug fixes, probably some security enhancements and things like that. Just getting it ready for prime time. Of course, we are getting close to the GM build. And again, we will see the final on the 30th. So this was just more of an informative video about iOS 13 and 13.1. But if you guys did enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss my iOS 13 coverage tomorrow, followed by my iPhone 11 coverage on Friday. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.